Hey friends, I hope you're doing well. Today we have another video from Tiago. He's gonna show you how to use image occlusion. So I hope you like it. Please let us know in the comment and uh, you know, you can do it. Hit the, hit, the, hit the thumbs up. No, 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 smash it. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Smash the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. You know, it helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much. Thanks. And uh, yeah, so, uh, Enjoy! Hello again. So today we are going to talk about how to use image occlusion add-on flashcards on medicine. Okay, so we, are, so we are going to pass to my computer screen and there I will show you how to use this add-on and the techniques that are most important for medicine. Okay, let's go. Okay, so here we are on my computer screen. The first thing you would like to do is to download the add-on. So here we are on the add-on page. The link will be in the description. And what you have to do is to scroll down into the download part, copy the code that is here, and then go to the your Anki app, click on Tools, and click on Add-ons. Then you would want to click Get Add-ons and put the code and click OK. It should download the add-on, and then you have to restart the program for it to be effective. Okay, so now that you have it installed, you should see this little icon here, which is the Image Occlusion Enhanced icon. If you simply click on it, you will notice that it will ask you to select an image from your computer. This takes a lot of time and it's, you can use this method if you want, but something easier to do and much quicker is that you can just select an image. Here I have a basic image from Google. Select copy the image and then click on the icon. It will automatically paste the image on the add-on. Now, what I usually start out by doing is to click the F key, which is fit to canvas key. You can also click this little icon here, which is the same thing. With What this does is centralizes your image and adjusts it to your canvas so you can work on it faster and more efficiently. So now you are going to have to cover the information you want to remember. For that, you can choose one of the shapes that is here. I normally use the rectangle shape and then start covering, creating the shapes over the information you want to remember. You can do this as many times as you want and uh, select as many information that you want. Then to add the cards, you have two options. You have the I'd all guess one option, which what it basically does is it displays all the rectangles and asks you to remember one of them. And the I'd one guess one option, which just shows one rectangle and asks you to remember it. We are going, going to choose the I'd all guess one and we are going to see how it looks. And then we are going to change this to the I one guess one option so you can see the both of them. So here we are. When we click this button, it displays here six cards added. So you can close the add on and then you can go see all the cards look. Here we have a preview. And with the I don't guess one option, this is what it looks like. So we have here displayed all the rectangles and it asks you to remember one of them. Okay. Let's say you want to use the I'd one guess one option. You can edit the, 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 the cards on the browser. You can change the type, click the I'd one guess one option, edit the cards, and it will work something like this. Okay, it only displays one rectangle and asks you to just use one, just remember one rectangle. Okay. So let's say that you want more than one rectangle to be revealed at once on your flashcards. What you can do to do this is group the rectangles. For example, we have here the square, choroid, and retina. You can group these rectangles by selecting one, and then while maintaining shift pressed, you can select the other two, and then press G. Okay? This will group your rectangles and they will appear 
all at the same time. The other thing you can do to select them is just click the selection I the selection tool and just oops and just select them all and click the letter G as well. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So as you can see here, the three rectangles are grouped and you have to remember what is behind the three rectangles. So here we have another example. This is an image which I cannot just copy. So what you can do to overcome this is that you can use your computer's tool to just select the image you want, okay? If your computer doesn't have a tool to select the image, you can also use paint and just crop out the image as well, okay? So now that you, we have the image copied, we can click on the image occlusion icon. So the same steps, click F to fit to canvas. And now you're going to start to use and cover the information. For example, I'm going to cover here the low clinical probability and high clinical probability, and I'm going to merge them or group them because they are exclusive information. Then I'm going to occlude here, here where it says negative and positive. I'm going to going to join these together. Here I'm going to do this. Here I can join these together as well because again they are exclusive information. I can duplicate these ones to just put it here. Okay, the key I used to duplicate was D. You can also use Control C, Control V. Okay. And here on the treatment, I am also going to group them. So select, whoops, so select them all, group them, and then you can click the to do the same thing here. Okay. Uh, but just a bit, this one is not. Okay. So here you can't use the idol guess one because you need to know some information to be able to understand what they want you to remember. So here I would use the I'd one guess one option. So this is what the cards look like. I use the I'd one guess one option because you are, need to be able to know what comes before and after the occluded part or you don't know what to do. Okay, so there are some situations when, where you should use the I'd one guess one option. Okay. So now let's talk about fields. So to go to the fields part, you have to go to the top of the window and click on fields. Here you will have a lot of rectangles or spaces where you can add extra information. For example, you have here the header, the footer, remarks, sources, extra one, and extra, extra two. It's a lot easier for me to explain what they are if I just create the cards and show how it looks. So it will look something like this. What happens is that the header is normally what you use for a title. So here you can put a pulmonary thromboembolism uh, algorithm. So header is what you use for a title of the image. The footer, it was, it's what you use if you want to put extra information about the image. Both of these appear before you reveal the information. What happens is that remarks, both remarks, sources, or the extras, they appear after you review the information. So if you want to add extra information to help you review, you can use the remarks or the extras. And if you want to add a source or a link to where you got the information, you can also use the sources part. Okay, so this is how you use fields on Edison flashcards. And the last thing I would want, want to share with you is to how to put tags on your image occlusion flashcards. This is very simple. You can just do it how you do with other normal uh, flashcards. So, but you have to create the tag before you click on the icon. So here I have the tag created and then I click on the icon and I create the flashcard and the tag is automatically linked to the flashcard. 
Okay, so this is what I wanted to share with you. Anki has a lot more things it can do, but I try to cover what is relevant for medicine flashcards. I really hope these help you in creating better flashcards and help you in your study. Thank you for watching the video and until next time.